LGBTQIA influence. Um, it was still new in politics. Gay marriage wasn't even accepted. Like it was still really taboo. So coming from a small, more conservative environment, it was it was kind of difficult to come out. But um, I was just honest and true with myself. And those who really loved me as a person accepted me and saw through it past their religion or what they always grew up with. And those who didn't, well, they weren't worth my time. So, yeah. <laughs> and I love that you said that. You know, it's that's not worth your time if you're not getting that love given back and that um, appreciation for who you are and, you know, the realness of you. Right, absolutely. I think um, one of the biggest failures we do as human beings is constantly trying to find validation through other people when you should be finding validation through yourself first and foremost. Of course, you could always use people as like a moral check or and a person to bounce ideas off of, but if you aren't validating yourself and, and giving yourself self-love, then how can expecting other people to do it is a very slippery slope. Yes. Back to what I was saying with the self-validation, lots of people are so worried about what everyone else thinks or says, what their opinions are. Um, but the reality is, is if something makes you happy, it's your page. You put out what you want. It's your music. You put out what you want because reality is you're going to have people who don't like it or people who think they can do better and will put you down. But you can't, you can't take that energy. You have to do what makes you happy. Yes, girl. <laughs> yes, I'm feeling the empowerment here. Yes, you have to do what makes you happy and not uh, care what other people think and make that as your validation. If you really believe in something and believe in yourself, just follow that dream and follow that path. Exactly. Follow your heart in everything you do. Listen to your mind, but do follow your heart. Is there some advice that you would give someone that is not really able to come out and really, you know, express their true inner being? You know, that's always a very hard one because yeah. you're kind of in between a rock and a hard place because you understand your family's values. You understand the values behind religion, their tradition and their morals. Um, personally, I would argue um, not to get too religious. God loves all of his children. Um, but I can understand in certain communities it's not as accepted. I would always say go to a place where you know that you'll feel comfortable. Um, go either move someplace, you know, make you happy, find a space on the internet, find a club or something where you feel like you can be 100% yourself. And you know, I would never encourage people to hide in front of their family. I think it's better to be honest and to go through that hurdle with them and find acceptance. But if that's not an option, because sometimes it's not, then go to a place that makes you happy and occasionally come back to where you're from. I love it. And I love that you're just so real with your emotions and just being so vulnerable and letting people in and be a part of your journey. Absolutely. I mean, I think the biggest reason why I do music is I want people to relate to what I'm saying. Not necessarily relate to me, Jen Messina, but get something out of my music, get an emotion, get in a, get a memory, get some type of reflection or thought process to help them heal or help them remember something pleasant. Oh, I love that. Yeah. And I love that you want to help people heal and bring light onto other people. Absolutely. I mean, what it, what is music? If it's yeah. not an emotion or an outlet or healing or what is it? The arts are just so important, dancing and singing and music and the emotions, and it just brings you to life. Absolutely. Stay wild, Moonchild.